Hey, hey, how's your mind coming with another thought-provoking topic? And today's topic is about word of art. Yeah, word of art. You know, there is a, such a science that is out here that's being used. But a lot of times, a lot of our brothers that I hear, um, we sometimes we get into our militancy and we um, we do a lot of uh, examining and uh, we examine a lot of other brothers works and we try to dissect what from the good and the bad and sometimes what we do is we try to uh, critique as into saying that when somebody does a certain uh, particular you know work because again you got to remember every intricate part that every brother or sister puts into this is a so is a is a sum total for the whole embodiment and so sometimes we may you know be naive and say that that somebody may be using a so-called white philosophy, ideology, science, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes I think we don't really um, put a lot of forethought into, sometimes we just go off the top of our head, and I understand that, and I'm not, you know, saying this to be getting at any brothers in particular, but what we don't seem to realize is that if we consider ourselves to be God-like uh, people, the entity, the essence, the spirit of, then anything that is contributed by the oppressor, it is only taken from what we had already established. You feel what I'm saying? And so to to give somebody the power to say that if we're using a particular you know, apparatus of or a facet, whether it be a particular science, whether it be a particular history. Um, I don't attribute. I myself don't attribute anything to the white man because I believe we are the originators. And if anything, by dissecting him, right, and it's not trying to understand what makes him tick. I could give a fuck about how he ticks. Melanin check! What I'm saying is that the reason for my particular science my science is for my people to understand him and how he operates because once you can understand how your enemy moves, thinks, strategize, what power he possesses, then you are to be able to counter that based on the simple fact that you have a lot more understanding. And, and what I believe is a lot of our brothers out here you know, I think a lot of you lack really experience. And what I mean by that is this. You know, I'm not saying just because people may be young that they don't have a understanding as into what white supremacy is, what is racism, what are the dynamics of white supremacy and all these facets. I just think that sometimes we may be going from erudition, you know, the erudition aspect of knowledge and lack experience. And so when you lack experience, you're talking from a perspective of what the book don't give you. You feel what I'm saying? And so it's like saying, for instance, those people who go to so-called higher learning to be educated to do a certain field of work and they're trained through the aspect of the book but there's aspects of the book that don't tell you when 
everything don't follow in the prescription that the book told you then there's things you have to improvise based on your experiences that will help you to overcome the situation and so you know for each brother or sister in whatever particular science or ideology or organization or whatever it is that you might be putting out here more power to you um, I don't critique any other person's work uh, you may say some things that I may not be too you know either familiar with or maybe I not in total agreeance to it but I respect that I don't have a problem with that but I do think that we lack a little bit of understanding because if we are to understand and understand how we got in a predicament we're in even though someone has let you go physically there was another aspect done to you mentally and how did they perpetuate that continual you know hold on you well that's why I'm bringing out this particular topic here called word of art now word of art in itself if we to take this science okay it's the breaking down of the magic spell within the words I'm gonna say that again word of art is a science it's the science of the breaking down of the magic spells that the word the words transform and this is the perpetual hold that it has on our people see that's why there is a disparity between the younger generation versus some of the older generation is because the older have the experience but the younger have the erudition part okay the younger can fill in okay I almost knocked that off okay the younger can fill in all right certain information that was not privy to the older generation they didn't have accessibility as they had back in a, a particular time in history there used to be called the magic eight ball you would ask the eight ball a question shake it up and then there would be somewhat of a question or answer in the back that was the closest thing that you got to anything that would be you know push it the button instant magical it was there so what you have today at the palms of your fingers or at the end of your fingertips you have the internet and any subject that comes to mind you can go right into the system and go into the ethers and pull that out extract it from whether it be somebody's teaching knowledge study but it's right there once you click it you feel what I'm saying so the younger ones today are privy to more instantaneous information and you can be having preponderance of that you can be you know overwhelmed with so much information and you could you know recite plenty of information but do you know how to apply the information to the experience aspect and this is why sometimes when people ask certain questions about certain things the younger ones have a nonchalant way about dealing with you know these issues that we talk about amongst the black nation which is about white supremacy racism and so forth they have a different ideology of things is because let's look at it from this perspective if your mother didn't teach you and your father didn't teach you and if you went over to your grandparents house and your grandmother and your grandfather didn't teach you you would be three generations removed from any personal history of self just from off on your family line 
You feel what I'm saying? And the only aspect of information that you would get or receive would be the erudition that the school curriculum gives for you as they believe to be would be sufficient for you to know so that you can be successful in their system. So when you see these young brothers and sisters out here and you ask questions like that, of course they're not going to be saying the things that people who would be two generations, three generations back. They're not going to be having the same perspective of life as those people because those people most of them and I'm not saying all of them because there's a lot of people who don't have the experience and I'm not taking as aspect of the police you understand what I'm saying that has been going on from the beginning of the whole Maafa so police is not something new that is something that's a trans Position that goes from when you from your childlike going into your adults into your adolescence and teens you understand what I'm saying that's that transformation that you going into that stage of becoming a man Melanin check is when you start dealing with that aspect. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's part of being a black man that's going through that aspect. Now, what I'm talking about is this. You know, the game of several generations back had changed. And so with the newer generation having the friends of all other different, you know, ethnicities and using the the centerpiece of hip-hop as bringing them together and having something in common they use the hip-hop culture to amalgamate all of them to have there is no differentiation between them but what they don't realize is that they all go after 315 230 whatever it is when they get out from school they go north and you go south. Am I right or am I wrong? And so if you go north and they go south, then that means that you're going in two different directions. Okay? And this is where the separation begins. Now, you may, after school, have activities, you understand, that where you still come together and you amalg uh, amalgamate together. But then there's that separation where you, one person lives on one side of town and the other one goes to another side of town and it lives amongst the people of himself. Now there are some situations where you know you have these areas where they have a diverse community okay and so with this diversity because of that diversity people have been trained and programmed to not see things in that particular light. So when somebody poses a question to them as a reason why they're in or doing something, they can't foresee how the person who was asking the question and where's this question coming from because from their perspective it don't exist. Well, let's see why it don't exist and let's see if there's a science of how they continue to per uh, perpetuate a, a invisible realm of existence versus what a lot of people that have a more insight realize that there is something that does exist and I call it the word of art okay now the word of art is kind of like when you say magic spell you hear a lot of well, there's one particular sister out there, Yaffa Bay. And Yaffa Bay goes into basically, I would say, like wordology. And what she does is she goes into the definitions and she gets into the brackets and she tells you, based on this terminology of this word, she breaks it down to what exactly what it means. And you'll have some brothers or some sisters who may hear this and say, well, 
That's the white man's terminology. The white man ain't create nothing. Melanin check! The Phoenicians. Go back and understand where the alphabet originated from and see who the Phoenicians was. See, the one thing that I want to say to a lot of my brothers out here is that when we say we are gods or we are the originators or indigenous people of the planet, that does not only put us on one particular continent. You have to look at the entirety and know the entirety. And once you understand that, then your perspective will change. Then you realize once you see that what has been robbed, what has been stolen, what has been plagiarized, then to understand, okay, to expand your circle to of understanding, then you wouldn't say that. Now, again, you cannot formulate something that did not already exist. You feel what I'm saying? You cannot give them the power to say that they created something that they did not create when it is a plagiarization of something that originated before they even was on the scene. John Henry Clark said it all the time. The Johnny come lately's. You feel what I'm saying? And so if you're Johnny come lately, then you didn't establish anything. What you could have done is like some people were going to the kitchen and you have a bunch of leftovers. And so what you do is you pick and glean and you'll make a dinner for the night based on that. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what they did when you talk about using a particular language. Now, what is in this word of art with using this particular language is that there are connotations in this language. And a connotation means it may appear to be one way, but there may be several different ways it can be interpreted. Now, based on how the education system has trained or programmed majority of our people, you know you did not get a thorough understanding of what they were giving you. That was the whole intent was not to allow you to become, you know, well thoroughed or well knowledge into what they were teaching. It was only to give you enough to be sufficient so that you would not be completely dumbfounded but not being at the same level that they were being. You feel what I'm saying? And so, that's why when you look at the chocolate cities around the globe, what ended up happening? These chocolate cities have the worst educations, public schools, in the country. Now that's the reason why it's public because it is end up being funded by whom? The government. And based on the fact that majority of our people do not own, that means that those schools will not be adequately sufficient in educating. And even if you did have the money, do you think that a person that who is opposing you, who is your enemy, is going to give you sufficient education so that you could be equal to his children. Is that what we're thinking? Melanin in check! You feel what I'm saying? So what he does is he understands what he uses thoroughly, inward, outwardly. He knows the pros, he knows the cons, he knows all the connotations to it. And so what he does is he gives you the basics, the basic understanding, but there are so many variations to that same word, which leaves a word of art, meaning that, what does word mean, right? We'll say word, right? Word is a verbal signal, right? It's a symbol. See, as I'm speaking, and depending on, you know, the way I'm transmitting this, 
through my vibrations is going directly to your head and in that vibration there's a signal there's a symbol that it's like saying they told you a picture is worth a thousand words but how many how many words is a symbol you feel what I'm saying and so in, sim in the symbol that you cannot see that's coming in frequencies based on the vibration that I'm speaking okay that is a verbal signal so there's an essence of glory in the word and so when you say essence what are you saying you saying, well it's an important element it's a feature of a thing it's the intrinsic nature right and so it is the central nature it is a vital element if you was talking in let's say like metaphysics it would be like the entity the soul the heart the lifeblood now you know we say entity right you know what the soul is the heart the lifeblood right so we're saying that these particular this word can resonate within your entireness right it can it, it can engulf your entireness and based on the way a person articulates how he speaks the vibration that comes from his mouth it could be is it would could it could be in a um, it could be depicted as like if if what what the nose to scent would be to perfume right the scent the fragrance it's a pleasing odor so certain words have a certain way that they transmit to people and they make people feel according to biblical in the scripture it says the tongue is the most powerful is the most powerful muscle on the body it's only the reason why it's the most powerful muscle on the body is because why it said the tongue can break bones or it can mend bones now what is meant by that meaning give you an example Melanin check. I can you can walk up to a female and you say hey how you doing sweetheart what's your name I'm Mr. Blows you nine and just in that tone she can accept that just on that symbol that verbal signal that I gave her it could either be like I said perfume it could be having a scent it could be stank you feel what I'm saying and she ain't even gonna turn but it could be a fragrance with a pleasing odor that gets her attention correct right or I could say uh, come on here let me he said you got fries to come uh, say I'll say something like this just to give you the opposite to it hey baby fries come with that shake and most likely what's gonna happen sisters <laughs> you feel what I'm saying so it's the way right it's 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 there's an art there's a science to this there's a, there's some magic in words in the biblical sense and I know I'm not look I'm not with that okay I may use that as part of my analogy at times but I done did enough of my research to know what is and what ain't so I don't when I use this I'm only using this so that if you don't uh, understand what I'm saying you can actually go in there and look at it because it's in there and another thing let me just go to this real quick see we have some brothers who are into the militancy into uh, pro pan um, revolutionaries and they will say things as to and I'm not against that when they say about knowing that the fabrication of the Christian story and the, the you know the image and all that fine but you got to remember and I know there's a lot of brothers and sisters that teach that those who are not within the conscious realm we are to just allow them to just fall to the wayside I don't believe in that I believe that 
You cannot grad you cannot be in graduate school and not understand the fundamentals and the basics. So if our people who have been in detriment for 150 years, coming out of 400 years, there's going to be a lot of psychological psychological disorders amongst them and so people have to be patient and that's the problem a lot of uh, y'all don't even have the basics so you can't teach you're trying to teach graduate school to it's like teaching astrophysics to a wine check you've been since birth been a blessing to this earth there's so much You feel what I'm saying? You're going to have to learn to get down on, on the ground level, get to the basics, because in order to get people to write, raise up, it would be an analogy would be Harriet Tubman. Yes, she went and got herself free. But what did she do? She had to, she brought herself back under there to go grab those that would follow her and brought them and kept coming back. You know why? And some she didn't get because why? Because some of them didn't, they still believe that they were still wouldn't be free. You understand? It's the mindset. And so to come back and just to tell somebody and let somebody else say, well, you know, they free over there up in Canada. That ain't going to help them. They don't understand what that means, freedom. And where's Canada at? So you had to have somebody who had already experienced it to come back down there with them and to show them I've went and I've come. You feel what I'm saying? So we can't stay high and mighty and think that from we're speaking from high and above and we're talking down and these people look it up and they don't have a clue to what the hell you talking about. You need to learn how to teach. Melanin check! You've been since birth, been a blessing to this earth. There's so much more. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I understand. This is where our problem lies at because we, when you say lack of knowledge or lack of education, it starts way before it got to you. So you can't come with grandmaster, you know what I'm saying, professor, doctor, and talking to lay people. You feel what I'm saying? It, 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 I, I just don't get that. I don't understand how I must get on that level and think that they you know it's easy to drop mugs up because they don't catch on to where you at you did your personal research and your study because that was what was in your spirit but other people have other you know other uh, obstacles in their life and so they don't get the chance to be and, and let me give you something a little up something else do you know what the word mean when you say a scholar a scholar is a person who basically has the leisure time to do study. Scholar has nothing to do with degrees. Scholar is a person who has the time to be able to sit down and to read and to research and to try to understand what it is interpreted. You feel what I'm saying? So there's a bunch of scholars sitting around here who are scholarly but are not teaching. Melanin check! You've been and so I say I'm out here trying to do that so I'm gonna start with the basics and now those who don't like with the basics you move on you ain't got to stay here you feel what I'm saying so what I'm saying here is when I said that word of word, right? I'm trying to get back on that. It was the essence of glory. That's what word is. It's the essence of glory. And so when you talked about essence, remember I broke it down to entities of soul, heart, the embodiment, the perfume, the scent. It is a derived origin, right? From a source. So if I say that the definition of the word means essence of glory, what does of mean? Of is a form belonging to or coming from or hailing from, right? So essence, right? We said the essence was an important element coming from or, you know, hailing from. And you say the word glory. Now, glory 
is a that ring circle that is a surrounding radiance of light that represents the about around the head you know how they had the depiction of that so-called Jesus and you see that ring around his head so when I say word of art you know that it has something to do with those vibrations of those words that resonate through your whole body that emanates in your head hmm right and it says also when you talk about glory it is the it was represented the light that is about the head or the figure of a sacred person now who are the sacred people hmm and when you say sacred what does they mean by that it's the state what does the state mean it is the condition of a person right it is the splendor magnificence right it is the shape the form the imposing the majestic it's the sub it's to submit it's to validate so word of art is a spell when you really break it down because it has a symbol to it it has it has vibrations to it it has elements to it right it's part formed from something and it does something to your head right it has something to do with your head so that means that word of art meaning that I can invoke or I can transmit a spell on you and you don't even know I did it to you Melanin Chat That's how smooth these mugs is. See, everybody don't understand what is their power. What is the power that they're using on us? And why can't our people wake up? Well, the problem is because we don't understand the language. Now, I'm not telling you to become European. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. You have to understand in a tactical military you know what I'm saying? If you're talking about tactically, tactical and military, you have to understand, you know, when you're looking at the map, the terrain, right? You got to understand how your opposition and how and what and where and you know what I'm saying? How to organize everything, right? So, and again, so when you say art, how do you look at that? Now, we did that base part was just the word now see I just went through basically almost a half hour on just that word but here's the other aspect to it word of we know what of was right now we get to the the art part of it now when you say art you're talking about somebody have to be skilled right you got it's skill in art there's workmanship in art there's an execution in art okay and there's an agency. Now, when they talk about it in the fact of an agency, they're talking about it is often opposed to nature. I'm going to say that again. The agency is often opposed to nature. So when you use that word art, it's an, it's an, it's an opposed to the natural order of things. It's a craft. It's cunning. It's artificially in behavior. Learning of or science. Melanin check! Now, so combine that together and what do you have? Hmm? What do you have? Huh? What do you have when you combine that all together? I know what it is. You can even take that same word, right? You take word of art, combine it, and take it into the Kabbalistic encyclopedia and look up. If you do it under, do it because again, the reason why I say use it under the Hebrew, right, or the Jewish lettering is because I'm gonna get to the reason why I'm using that because this is who is programming you. You feel what I'm saying? 
These are the ones who are programming you. Melanin check! But you didn't know that. So that's why you'll hear some brothers say, well, they they ain't they, they ain't the cause of reason why we in the condition we in. We we ourselves doing this. See, you regurgitating something that they dropped in and now everybody is keep spewing it. And every time now it's like you can tell when one of them done dropped the word in is because you start hearing us all saying it. Brother in check That's not something natural by us. We, why are we saying all saying the same word? Where did this word come from? Why are we all saying we got to take responsibility for We got to take responsibility. We've always taken responsibility. But what doesn't happen? Something has intervened in us. Something has trickled in into the natural order of our people and caused a division, caused chaos amongst us. And yet we keep saying that it is something that we have done to ourselves because the only people I keep seeing that's doing this stuff is our own people. And we don't attribute to the fact that what is what about when you say chemtrails? What are you talking about the water? What are you talking, you know what I'm saying? When you go in your tap water and they done told you that all the motherfucking shit that come in your damn water is the pharmaceutical shit that all comes in from all the shit that been flushed down the toilet and even though that they go through the uh, the reclamation water reclamation center that the stuff that still comes out is going to be what the pharmaceutical shit is still in the damn water so you got some drug shit in that part then you got the chemtrail part in the water too and if you're living in an all predominantly black area it's easy to put that on you Movie I tell you that you probably didn't see some of you and a lot of you probably have three the hard way. What the fuck was that about? With Jim Brown, Jim Kelly, and um, what was the other brother name? <laughs> he played football too. But check that out. And what was that all about? You feel what I'm saying? See, we sometimes when it comes to uh, looking at this in the entirety, we kind of forget about some of the aspects when we talk about. Um, when they say conspiracy theory they try to leave that as a theory it's not a damn theory because they got plot policies going on and to, to show you that let's just look at what's been going on lately what is the main thing going on right now with these politicians I, haven't y'all been noticing that a lot of the brothers are being yanked up out of them damn political offices all around this damn country haven't anybody been noticing that and don't understand what that's from? Hmm? There was a policy brought out. Okay? Several brothers have brought it out about the attention to it. And a lot of you have forgotten about it. You forgot about Rex 84. Melanin check! If you study that go back and look at it and look at what's happening and seeing how everything is starting to get itself you know in transformation to it do you not see that this stuff is for wishing don't you see that it's not it's only a matter of time before they're gonna start bringing in martial law and they're gonna start sweeping through these damn uh, communities because they're going after the gangs and that's your last frontier holding down your communities. I'm not saying that those nations, you know, they have their issues. And I, I believe a lot of their issues is because, let's put it to you like this. If you've been going in and out of the penitentiary, and there's a book called Acres of Skin, right? And it was talking about how back in those days, 
when brothers was going in there and then they get locked up and then when you don't have no books no money on your commissary right so what you do is you line up for experiments to make a couple bucks to put on your books right so you could survive right and so here they was experimenting with them for pennies and they don't know what the fuck they was giving them right so let's just say you going in there and you need to do no experiment but they put an experiment in the foods they done put chips in your food they done gave you a chip going in there and so all y'all walk around here with these cell phones what makes your cell phone work towers right frequencies Dr. Blair been telling y'all that for how long frequencies ELFs and if somebody is turning up frequencies and you got them chips in you this is what's probably having people having these reactions where they already hostile because of you know living in poverty economically deprived you know what I'm saying I got a lot of built up anger but I ain't looking at the person I'm supposed to be looking at the only person I see is the one that looks something like me and then I got all these frequencies beaming on me and <laughs> um the Manchurian candidate Melanie check You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but I know that's 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 far fetched you know that's that's too low thinking for you high uh, people who are looking down you feel what I'm saying you're too high up when you need to be coming down cuz see being up there ain't no guarantee that you gonna be able to fly away when all this shit come down cuz again look at what's the fuck going down y'all look what's going down motherfuckers is buying I mean guns like motherfucker going to buy candy you feel what I'm saying and our people are turning in all they damn guns you feel what I'm saying so you be a disarm and they loading up with arms ain't nobody looking at that picture Melanin check All these new laws coming up and shit and more ways to now make you a debtor to be a debtor prison. You gonna be, be we gonna be going to jail for bullshit ass tickets and all kinds of shit. You understand what I'm saying? New York and Chicago is merging that shit together and they gonna be the models for what they gonna do all around this motherfucker. Melanin check! You've been born since birth, been a blessing to this earth. There's so much You feel what I'm saying? Let's get back to what I'm talking about, this art, this word of art. Now, so we got word of art, has something to do with skills, has it's a it's a it's a magical spell. It goes within you, and it's the way it's being done to you. It's a science in it. It's artfully, it's artfully how it's done. It can even change your behavior. I told you about the tongue, right? So let's 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 get into a little bit more. Let's look at entertainment. Because see a lot of times they throw that word out there, right? They throw entertainment. But matter of fact, I wait before I go there because I was supposed to tell you about um I think I was supposed to tell you about what was the word of art in the Kabbalah, right? That I that I, I may not have told y'all that, right? 709, right? When you sum total that, you're going to get about 709. Right? And it says prime. Right? Prime. You know, prime. You know what prime is, don't you? Prime. P R I M E. So, um,. I didn't get into that, huh? 
All right, so I'll come back to that because I think I, I had my note on that somewhere. Okay, so anyway, so we're just going to say that the word of art is a word spoken. It is a verbal signal, a vibrational symbol, a sound wave to your brain which resonates important elements. Okay, so that's what word of art is. Right? That's what word of art is. So, you say, well, okay, yeah, you give me a definition of a term, or maybe it could be a science, I never heard it before, and uh, okay, I, I hear you on that. All right, okay, you might hear me on that, but let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get into another aspect and let me show you a little bit more what I'm talking about here. All right, so let's take... You know, a lot of people, you got TVs in your home. Some you got two, three, four TVs. You got cable channels. You got hundreds of channels, correct? And so, what do they call that? Say, oh, that's entertainment, right? All right, so let's take that entertainment. And let's break that down. Let's see what does entertainment really mean. Because, you know, you know, we say entertainment just you know it has something to do with you know you know I'm 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 watching something I'm enjoying it and you know I guess it could be singing it could be dancing it could be you know uh, you know some kind of event you know that's what entertainment is right so let's break that word down right so if you say entertain it means to absorb right it's to charm it's to divert it's to beguile it's recreate it's engrossed right so that's entertain so I said well okay entertain but what if, what if it was entertained meant you feel what I'm saying See, there is no tain in in the lexicon of English words t-a-i-n Right, but there is T A I N T, which is taint, and taint means suggestion, blemish, disfigurement, infection, contaminant, perversion, weakening, debauchery, poison, defile, adulterated. Hmm. Entertainment. Mint means state resulting from the products, its means. Right, so let's let's formulate that all in one, and what do you get? It's an agreeable occupation for the mind, a diversion. What? A diversion? Melanin check. That's what entertainment is. Entertainment is a diversion. It is a ruse. It is blind. It is faint. What? You thought you was watching something that was, you know, something you was enjoying that you, but it's a diversion. A diversion, it's an appearance of aiming at a part or a point when another is the real object or tech. Not an check. A movement made with the object of deceiving an adversary. What? I, how? Wait a minute, brother. How did you just get to that? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I, that ain't what I read. I'm, I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna go to my dictionary and see if I can see that. But I don't see that. See, you gotta understand how to learn how to do the word of art. See, because in the definition of entertainment, you're gonna find the word diversion. Now, what are the, you know, sentiments, the words to the sentiments that go with that word diversion you're going to get deflection you're going to get ruse you're going to get blind you're going to get fit or faint f-e-i-n-t and you take that word and you'll find it's an appearance of aiming at one part or point when another is the real object of the attack a movement made with the object deceiving an adversary in check You've been Been 
also that diversion is turning aside from a course, a detour, right? A distraction from business intended to draw off the attention from the point of the main attack. Are you understanding what I just said here? Entertainment is used as a diversionary tactic. It is to get your mind off of the real, it's to distract you from the true business. But what is the real business, brother? What are you talking about? We, I, I mean, I hear you, but I ain't getting what you're talking about. Well, what are we talking about here? When we talk about brothers, sisters, when we talk about I'm a God, when I'm talking, we talk about consciousness and movement and revolutionary, what is all that about? And we ain't say adversary. Now, you know, that word in using it and to use this, okay, and the people who you have oppositions with, these are the ones that you attribute to who have the power of these words. So they knew when they created this and they used this specific word, this is what they meant. And they knew what they meant when they meant it. It was you at the time who did not know because, again, it was against any law for you to be reading. Have we forgotten that? Melanin check! So now that you, now after 150 years of now trying to, you know, dissect through the maze and finally get to some kind of comprehension of what's going on, that's why they have to pull the rug from under there and they're fearful now that they don't realize that we collectively with other ethnicities have the majority. You feel what I'm saying? And so you are being diverted when you sit down there and you watching these programs it is a diversionary tactic to keep you and to deceive you and keep you off the real objective so that you can be attacked. Melanin check! That's what entertainment is! <laughs> Did you know that? You didn't know that. You didn't know that. You just took the word because that's what you had in the spelling test at school. And you sat down and had it one day as one of the words. And you wrote down E-N-T-E-R-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T. -E -E and you said, you got that test back? Oh, I got that right. I know how to spell entertainment. Definition is basically, you don't retain definition. See, they don't teach us to retain definitions. They just teach us to spell the word. And then, when you look up a lot of words, you'll be seeing that there'll be five, six, seven, eight, nine different components to that same word. Now, the point is, when somebody else is using it, they don't tell you the real intent of what they're using it. They allow that discernment to come from you. And you could be totally wrong. But that ain't my job to correct you. You feel what I'm saying? That's, you know, <laughs> that's just what it is. So let's take another, let's take one more. Let's take another one. Let's take sports. Because you know a lot of brothers love to play sports, right? And a lot of us wish we could have got paid playing professionally, you know.
to finally purge that out of your system takes some time when you finally realize because every brother feel like I could be pro. Now I could tell you some things but I don't got all that out of my system now. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel what I'm doing here is trying to reach back because once I break this down let's see if it's not true. Let's just see if it's not true or not. Alright, so let's say we know sports. Sports means basically playful, trifling or mirth, right? Playful, trifling or mirth. Damn, trifling? Uh, trifling. Think about that. Trifling. Has somebody ever caused, heard, you ever heard somebody being called somebody? Trifling? That was not very good when they called your ass trifling. That was a, that was a word back in the early 80s, 70s. I heard that a lot. They called a woman that trifling ass. Hmm? Now, I have a sister hearing me, female hearing me. They know when they heard that word trifling, that was it's not good. He didn't hear too many brothers said it, but I mean, other people might have had a conversation and said, oh, that trifling ass nigga, you know, that kind of shit, right? So anyway, moving on, we're going to say, and it says also a flashy person, any person who affects fine clothes, smart manners, or pastime. Melanin check! Human this earth, been a blessing to this earth, there's so much Uh oh, see, a flashy person, any person who affects fine clothes, smart manners, or pastime. Now, see, a lot of people think they can be pro because of their skills, right? They say, man, I had the game, my ass could have been pro, I had the game, boy. You feel what I'm saying? I had the package. Ah, right? that's the key. Did you have the package? See, not be everybody goes to the league is not there because they could ball. You understand? Know don't don't get me wrong. The average NBA player can ball, go to any open gym and pretty much bust majority of everybody's ass. There, but don't get me wrong. There's a lot of street. There's a lot of still street pros. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of oh, always that because I mean every pro know every somebody on the street that could bust his ass in the day. You know what I'm saying? Or give him a good ass game. He just didn't. He was not what he was. He's not gonna be what we about to say right here. You, you feel what I'm saying? He don't fall under this category. She didn't fall under this category. So when it says a flashy person, the person who affects fine clothes, smart manners, or pastime. That means you have to be what? Marketable. Melanin check! Human birth, sis birth, been a blessing to this earth. There's so much more. I just can't wait till it's done. Oh, yeah, oh, I need what you're doing to this earth. There's so much more. Uh-oh, are you marketable? See, affects fine clothes. Meaning that... Let's, let's look at the word effects, right? When you say the word effect means to influence, to sway, to impress upon, change, right? To be importance of. If you get into that psychological aspect of the word, it's emotion or passion, affection, sentiment. So the effect that the ball player or the people, we ain't going to say ball player. Cause let, me, let, me, let me scratch that because sports don't mean just ball player. You take any sport. And what they do is they market these cats in fine clothes, and based on they try to portray, they try to portray them in this smart manner. See, remember how Tiger was before all that shit fell out. Tiger was like man, untouchable, right? Kobe before the rape case, he was untouchable, right? Hmm. I mean, you could go down and say a whole bunch of things, right? I mean, Tyson. I mean, you. Could, Huh? And we gonna and, and, and remember what I just said here because I'm gonna show you something about what happens to these 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 brothers who play sports. 
and just in defini just in defining this word sport. Now just to show you everything means something. Don't think just something being said don't mean nothing. And don't you need to start looking at it and go in depth into it. Now it it has an influence, it sways and impresses. So if Kobe do it, you do it. If John Cena do it, they gonna go do it. I lay my eyes on the prize Something's happening inside Free as shit, doing it to me Girl, what you doing to me? You've been born since birth Been a blessing to this earth There's so much more You feel what I'm saying? So, it also says it mutates. Childlike. What? What? Mutate? So, it's the change to undergo a mutation. Well, what is that mutation about? Isn't it funny that most of those brothers that become professionals, somehow they then sever their hood card. Huh? They ain't so hood anymore, but somehow the hood loved them so much and give them a pass, and they don't never really, really do too much. You feel what I'm saying? They don't really come. To, come on now, let's be real. They don't give back. Matter of fact, it's part of the protocol for them not to really be too associated with you. Matter of fact, they set up a pool so when they come in that they're surrounded by a lot of masses in them little daughters and nieces and shit. And that's why they always got Buff, Buffy, Becky, Annie Mae on his arm. Melanin check! You've been born since birth, been a blessing to this earth. There's so much more. Huh? You know how the game go, and they done already told you it's it's already in the, it's already in there. It's part of the whole package. You can't you know what I'm saying? They ain't making up nothing. They ain't lying to you. It's right there. The only thing is, we ain't that meticulous when we getting into getting in depth and shit. We just surfacing. We need to get deep, real deep. You feel what I'm saying? And so. This mutation is, they ain't the same brother that you might have knew when they was on the street. And then through high school, you feel what I'm saying? And then they done got that little money and they ain't the same brother no more. Matter of fact, have you ever heard any sports player come out and talk politically about anything? You know why? His issue ain't the same issue you got. He got money. So he got to roll with the people who got money. He can't. He ain't talking about. He ain't got no civil rights. He ain't talking about discrimination. You, you feel what I'm saying? He ain't talking about racism or white supremacy. That don't even exist in him anymore. Melanin check. If it even existed, because you know, they get pampered, we get pampered. Hmm? And why is that? Huh? Because they trifling, huh? Uh oh, there's that word trifle. Hmm? Childlike. So, if you say trifle, trifle is without due seriousness or respect, it's a waste of time. Make sports of deceive. Huh? Make sports of deceive. So, okay, so what is that saying? Well, as I was just saying about the political aspect of it, they don't come out to the hoods and they don't talk about politicalness. They don't tell you about how to collectively come, unify, how to build. Mm. 
It ain't tell you about the educational aspect. None of that. It's like it is taboo for them to even come in and even have any association. It's like you'll lose uh, you'll lose your white card if you fuck around down there. Rather than check. Now you have some brothers that be trying to stay. I ain't gonna sell out, and I'm coming. Out. And what's happening with them? Somehow, some way, they stay in the damn news. Somebody shooting at them, or they fighting at the club, and all that stuff. And it could be conspired. Since motherfucker being hard head, and you think you gonna try to, you know, we then we gonna, you know, throw this monkey wrench in there, and then we gonna use the media, and we gonna we gonna, you know. Sabotage your ass up, and once we kick you out, everybody gonna be damn. You fucked all that shit up, but that wasn't what it was. He was just trying to stay real. Rather than check. You feel what I'm saying? Cause. With all this money that a lot of these brothers be getting, and they coming from a lot of these places that a lot of us are in, it should be by now. I mean, there should be a lot of thriving, some kind of factories and businesses. You know what I'm saying? There should be some. I'm not saying that they're supposed to take all their money and attribute it back to all the communities, but damn. You see, that's because why? Childlike. Mine's a childlike. The thing is, you coming in the league. And we come out of high school. That's why they're trying to stop that. So you come in at 18, 19. And let's say you get a 10-year career. You'll be 28. Think about some of y'all who 28 or 25. Even past that. And remember when you was that age. You know what I'm saying? You're still learning. You're still inexperienced. Now, they may be more traveled and they done slept with all kinds of women. And they done ate in all kinds of places. But damn, 28 and let's say if you, you're going to live to be, you know, 65, 70, 80 years old. I mean, damn, you still got over 50 years to go. Better than check. You've been born since birth, been a blessing to this earth. There's so much more. You understand what I'm saying? And so, here you are now coming out after being, you've been playing all your life. Think about that. Somebody who's been playing sports all their life and then about 28, 29, 30, some of them get up to 30, 30 plus, and you know, some even drag it to 40. You've been playing all your life and now you want to come into the real world, right? And now, some of them try to now, all of a sudden, when that light dims, they ain't the star they was, and they ain't getting the media attention anymore, what they end up doing. Now, they want to try to be activists and all this other stuff, and not really activists, they just kind of, oh, I put it like this, I watched a Steve Coakley video one day, he had O.J. Simpson in there. Now, before O.J. went through all that shit, what was O.J.? O.J. when he ain't in check. You've been you feel what I'm saying? It ain't had nothing to do with none of that. But when your ass get in trouble, here you come. You feel what I'm saying? So, sport is just without due seriousness. So, that's why you feel what I'm saying you know when you look at it from a from the business aspect of it right when you look at it from owners and coaches and from the stands and all that stuff you know they go back to that word entertainment that's what you're doing it's past time for these folks to sit there you're diverting them from off real business whatever but they already took care of their business you feel what I'm saying the ones that's sitting out there 
we be at home watching the damn game, being diverted from all the business that we supposed to be congregating together and talking about what we supposed to be doing. Melanin check! You feel what I'm saying? And so, the waste of time is just all those years. Right? All those years of just play, 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 play. You know what I'm saying? And just, to, I mean, just to take the story when you got Jordan was in the story and talking about how he was a possibility having another child out of wedlock. Well, damn, think about this. You got millions of dollars. You was traveling from city to city every night. You had 82 games. Let's say half of 82. We say about 41. 41 go home away games. You know what I'm saying? Every city you going to, whether you had one, they was even knocking on the doors, hanging around the hotels. So, you know what I'm saying? So it was just fun. 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 I mean, not to knock on Magic or anything, but shit, Magic, you say shit at that game. He was like, man, I'm just going to have a rain. I'm going to have me a rainbow tonight. He was talking about shit. I'm going to have me Asian. I'm going to have me a Russian. I'm, I'm going to have me a Vietnamese. I'm, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about, I'm going to have all that one damn time. See? All that play. And now, he look at him. He's a successful businessman, they say. Like, he just had money. Now, I got something else I want to say about the Magic aspect of it, just to show on this childlike shit. Somebody tell me and leave, you know, matter of fact, while I'm in this, uh, leave a comment, post, video, or subscribe. Um, when he said he, want, he was going to give LeBron a million dollars if he got into the dunk contest. Now, see, right there, what does that say to you? Because I'm going to tell you what it says to me. You got money to throw away for a motherfucker to be dunking and your people that when you came up out of Detroit, hmm, Michigan, Detroit, I'm pretty sure I think he's from Detroit, Michigan, and why ain't throw that million dollars over there? Why don't you go take that million dollars and buy up all that shit and give them people over there some cheap rent? Melanin in check! Feel what I'm saying? Childlike. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't get me wrong when I'm saying this. I love brothers and I love sisters, but I'm just saying. See, we gotta we gotta start being real. We gotta start, you know, we gotta start telling it like it is, cause see, time ticking and things are fruition and then we are still lackadaisical in our, you know, our, 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 the way we are you know, trying to galvanize, we all still dissect it up. We need to be unifying. And it's like, well, where y'all standing at? Because y'all are financed. You feel what I'm saying? You know, who, who y'all affiliated with? So then we could be affiliated with you. But obviously you ain't affiliated with us. You done disassociated with us. The only thing you got with us is just skin tone. Melanin check! That's what it looked like to me. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, damn, I mean, just, I mean, I ain't even with the Thai shit because the motherfucker, when he said M Malaysia shit, I was like, well, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> technically, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't say he black, but corner, I heard somebody, a brother say, well, I think it was Bobby, he said he couldn't say he was black because, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, damn, when you going to be your own man? Be like, fuck it. You got enough money to just walk away and say, fuck it. I got millions, billions of dollars. Fuck y'all. I'm going with my peoples. I mean, we're going to build up some shit. No, because motherfucker ain't willing to take the bullet. Melanin check! You've been both since birth. Been a blessing to this earth. There's so much more. I just can't wait to explore. Oh, yeah, oh, I need what you're doing to 
Real talk. Moving on. So, looking at that whole aspect of some stuff I just said, you can see why it's without due seriousness. There's no seriousness when it comes to sports and athletes. Because they ain't serious. The only thing they're serious about is the sport. But when it comes to these real issues as they act like they're not associated with it, it's like two different people. So, uh, a lot of sports are just trivial. It's insignificant affairs. Hmm? Matter of slight of importance. The only people who make this important is other people who ain't got other shit and can regurgitate or recite stats like it was, you know, if they could recite stats like they could take anything else, then they could be doing some other stuff. They could be into this science. They could be into a whole lot of other things, you understand? But they know everything about these athletes, but these athletes don't give two cents shit about you. Uh, see, brother with a video, you feel what I'm saying, sign that out there, had this video, and shit. I see motherfuckers all lined up for $170 worth of some gym shoes. And you know damn well by now you should know that it only take about $10, $12 hours to make a motherfucking pair. Matter of fact, shit, they had got on him before about having those damn sweatshops and shit. I mean, here it is. He give his name to Nike with that Phil Knight motherfucker. And then he gonna make Jump 21. And yet, why don't you put the motherfucking factory here so brothers and sisters could be working in there. Melanin check! You know, that just sounds too much like right, right? You know what I'm saying? That sounds just too much like right. I, I, I feel it. Yeah, okay. So, again, sport. I mean, the whole world in this stuff just entails a whole lot of embodiments, and you can just see the shit. It's like, how did this word tell so much shit about sport? You, you feel what I'm saying? It's telling so much. And there's a lot of shit that goes with that word sport that let's just see where this word the dumb jock come from, because see, You'll see it says monkey business, it'll say fool, it'll say ass, it'll say dupe, it'll say chump, it'll say greenhorn, it's a sitting duck, uh, it's a stooge, it's an instrument, it's a fall guy, it's a passy, it's a sucker, it's a creature, it's tomfoolery, it's a laughing stock. Now you see where this dumb jock shit come from. Because again, Look at this. You've been playing since the time you was being out of court. Let's say you've been playing since you was 10, 11 years old. Here you is now 30, 35 years old. Right? So you've been playing for 20, 25 years of your life. Right? 20, 25 years of life. And for 25 years, you got, you got, you got this leadership quality. You got skills. You articulate. And the only thing you did it for was for basketball. Let me tell you something. There's a um, there's a um, scripture that talked about the one that gave talents to. And it says one he gave five, another gave four, and another gave three. It may be different numbers, but just follow me. And another one he gave one. Now the one he gave five talents to, and the reason we're gonna say talent, let's just say talent. If this was basically like was saying it was money, but I'm gonna use the talent in this way that I gave you gifts. I gave you a five-dimensional gift, right? And so the one he gave five came back. When the master came back, he gave that one. The one that gave five, he gave him ten. He said, "Good slave." He said, "Good servant." The other one gave four, he came back with eight. The other one came back with uh, two, he came back with four. The one he gave one came back with the same one that the master gave him. He said, you wicked and slave, you slave. He said, here it is, I gave you talent, and you're going to give me back the same talent I gave you? So what is that saying? You know what that's saying? Creator gave you gifts. And then your ass don't take that gift, that gift and fruition it and use it in the way that he gave it to you. And then you're going to return it back to the same way he gave it to you. 
You weren't even worth creating. Melanin check! I'm going to say that again. He gave you gifts so that you could use, so that you could help for those that them gifts that he gave you and you sat on the deal instead of you using the gifts and making it fruition, you didn't even use the gift. You coming back the same way I brought you. You was not even worth even being created. Hmm? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? So, I'm just going to say, see, I'm going to do a couple series of this, of this word of art. I'm going to take some things and bring it out and fruition it. And let you see that there's, in that word, truth is in there. It ain't just that word in itself. There's a lot more entailed in it. So anyway, this is Mr. Blow Your Mind coming with another thought-provoking topic. Yeah. What do you want to say about that? Word of art. <laughs> what word are you stuck on? <laughs>